Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to season 11 of my Criminal Empire Challenge. And Alex has very inconveniently decided to walk away from my opening scene. He's been promoted to a getaway driver. Well, yeah, fair that you shut the door on me there, buddy. So he will now make an additional 234 per hour for a total of 382. That's a big pay rise. Uh, he's received a $2,200 bonus and he received some bars of gold, which are in our household inventory. I did quickly have him go past a museum on the way home. It was a church museum. It's one of the ones his mum got married in and I had him swipe something from there as well. So he's feeling really, really happy with himself because he got to steal a sculpture. So we have something to sell in the... Oh, and he's cleaning up. I didn't even see that there was a puddle there. That's bad. I've got Ashley making breakfast. It's Sunday morning. Alex has decided, especially because Lily's been spending so much time doing hacking to sort of supplement his income, that he's going to buy her a new computer. So I'm imagining that on the way home, he's gone past somewhere that sells computers, a computer shop of some kind. I don't want to croak crazy because we do obviously in like five days have to make another $3,000 loan payment and we've got bills coming in on Monday which hopefully won't be too bad but I would like to get her a better computer than the like really really crappy old kind of cathode ray tube thing that she had here so that one had reliability three I don't care about the fun but reliability three that's reliability three but these ones are technically locked that's also reliability three. Oh my god where are the good ones this one's reliability eight and that one's eight, but this one's cheaper. So I guess we'll get that. It's going to leave us like just around a thousand left over. But honestly, she's earned it because she's been doing so much work hacking that I feel like he would want her to have, you know, in the same way he wants his lock pickers to have good tools of the trade and stuff. He would want his wife as a member of his criminal gang whether she likes it or not to have good tools of the trade so i'm just gonna have her repair the toilet she also needs to mop because she is our quote unquote maid under the terms of the challenge now he's sort of you know hey how's everyone going and he sh i think lily can tell he's hiding something but, and maybe that's why she's looking a bit tense, because maybe she's thinking, what's he hiding? You know, is it bad news kind of thing? What's up, Jason? Seems so like he's even <laughs> evil laughing. Dude, you're not giving your wife happy vibes. He's taking his wife in here. He's like, look, sweetheart, I got you a computer. And she's like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I would like her to admire her new possession. So she's like this is really, really great, honey. He's like, yeah, it's got all the top end, you know, things. Don't watch him. And then she's down here talking to her. Oh my God. So he's going to embrace her and we're going to compliment her appearance. This is her pajamas. She's actually been doing a, like a mobile app. I am going to have them try for a baby. Because they're, you know, he's he's had a good day at work. He's come home. He's feeling confident. He's obviously had a really bad experience attempting to seduce Cordelia, who is the fence, who he went over and attempted to hook up with. And maybe he's got, him, he's got himself some pent up kind of energy that he'd like to get out, which is unfortunate for her. But, you know, I need them to get pregnant. Hopefully she only gets pregnant with one. We only need one more baby in the house. I'm not super keen on having more people in this house than I need. I feel like six is enough. I'm pleased to see these two getting on. I wasn't sure that they would. I feel like they've got very different personalities. And their dad is probably going to... I suspect Zane is going to be Alex's favourite. I don't think Jason is going to be his favourite, which is sad for little Jason. I'm not going to have her do a pregnancy test. That wasn't an intentional try for baby. It just worked out that way. Now, actually, maybe I will have her come up and talk to him. Be like, hey, bro, is this a bad time? So she's going to tell him about how Nadia put the idea in her head about her mum and what her mum's motivation was or their mum's motivation was for like killing half of the celebrity male population and some of the female population of the entire Sims universe. So she wants to find out what that's all about. She was thinking about going to see Ross. So she's going to ask him if he wants to come 
And he's going to say, look, I don't really care why she did it. She's dead. I kind of just want to move on with my life, honestly. Look, if you want to go and talk to Ross and whatever, then feel free. But I'm not particularly interested. So she's like a little bit disappointed in that response, honestly. But she's like, okay, well, hopefully Nadia will come. So I'm actually going to have her travel to the prison. And then we'll see if... Lily's pregnant when we get back, hopefully. All right, we've arrived at the prison. It is in Strangerville, so they've had a bit of a car journey to get here, which is obviously why Nadia is looking so bored, not just because the sim turned up bored. I don't know why. So <laughs> we've arrived here. This prison was made by Lil Simsy. It's on the gallery, I think, as Oasis Springs Prison, but obviously I have put it in Strangerville. So Ashley's trying to distract her from her mood, and then we are going to go inside and see if we can get permission to see Ross. So we need to talk to one of the prison guards. I did make a couple of tiny modifications because one of the things that Kayla did was she didn't have much exterior lighting. I figured for a prison you would have a lot of exterior lighting because that way you can see if people are trying to like escape or whatever. So we're going to come over here and knock on the door. I'm seeing three prisoners playing on a computer but now that I've knocked I can actually see where everybody is. So hi. I've never done this before. I don't know what the process yeah, is. Can I, you know, there's someone here that I want to see. Hey, Ross. Ross. Stop. What? We don't know Ross. What? How is that possible? He was her butler. Is he making a break for it? <laughs> no. That's the exit there. She's like, yeah, there's this guy named Ross. I really want to see him. And this guy's like, whoa, two hot goth chicks just showed up. My day is looking good. It's like, sure, you know, you can see him if you want to. So I had set them up at a table, but in typical Sims fashion, they've decided they're going to talk in here instead. She's like, so how's your day going? How's that whole prison thing treating you? And uh, he's like, well, you know, it is what it is. The blokes here are mostly okay. You know, how's your brother? She's like, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. They're making awkward small talk. He's like, look, why are you here? You know, what's the go? And she's like, look, honestly, I wanted to know more about what happened the situation with mum and his response to that is well you know did you see the court case I mean you saw I was tried surely that explained it to you she's like well how much of it is true it's like well I was having an affair with your mum I was in a long-term relationship with her I loved her very dearly and I am still upset that she died and Ashley's like yeah you know me too although I feel like Ross actually feels the loss of Michaela more than Ashley does. Where are they going? Oh, he just chased her away. Oh, he needed to pee. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. So he's had a bit of a time to think about the fact she's here and the fact that, you know, why is she here to talk to me? Maybe this is an opportunity to get her on side for like an appeal or something. So she's like, look, what, what happened, you know, with the fire and everything? Do you know what the situation was? Because the, the police found candles and things in the basement where Michaela died, but they also found traces of an accelerant. So she's like, look, what happened? Uh, dude, go away. This is a private conversation. I can't say go home because this is actually their home. So she's making polite conversation because you don't sort of annoy the fellow prisoners she's a very confident sim physically like she's fitness 10 she's very confident that if he started something she could 100 percent finish it but she's not going to try and start something so she's like gonna you know oh you're always a great butler and he's like yeah yeah whatever you don't even don't don't give me that why are you here ashley what's going on why are you here and she's like look can we talk somewhere a bit more private please i was Talking with my girlfriend, and he's like, girlfriend? Hmm. <laughs> Typical bloke. So she's like, look, I was talking to my girlfriend, and I realized I didn't really understand what happened because it was never clear what happened with the accelerant. You know, did, did you did you kill mum? Because one of the theories is that ultimately Ross actually, in a fit of jealousy at Michaela's continued marrying of other men, maybe was responsible for the accelerant. He's like, look, no, I didn't. You know, I loved her very much. My only regret. Excuse me, sir. Trying to have a private conversation here. He's like, fine, whatever. Leaving. Stupid chick. She's like, so as you were saying, you know, you said you have two regrets. And he's like, yeah, I do. One is that 
I couldn't save your mum from whatever happened to her. I mean, she obviously, with killing all those people, did potentially anger a lot of people. Like, the sort of, when she was getting into relationships with people, she wasn't particularly interested in whether or not that person was married or not. So she did, like, infuriate a lot of people, you know, ex-wives and things. Maybe it was one of them. It's like, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's like, the, my other regret is getting involved with your sister. He's, she's like, what do you mean with my sister? And he's like, look, Carissa, you know I was with her as well, right? She's like, uh, what? No. What the heck? So he's like, yeah, you know, I, I'm not proud of that because I really did love Michaela. I'm not proud about the fact that I got entangled with Carissa as well, but frankly, you know, she kind of threw herself at me and I couldn't help it. Oh, look, Chadwick's cleaning up. So I've given up. I'm just going to ignore the fact there's other people in this conversation and that both of my sims are bored because I keep clicking the same things. I'm trying to tell a story and I'm going to ignore the fact that Ross is looking at the other guy. He's basically saying, yeah, you know, I cheated on your mum with Carissa and she, I think Carissa, like Carissa knew about my relationship with Michaela and she didn't care. And I think Michaela maybe found out about it because her and Carissa, you know, do you remember them having a falling out? And Ashley's like, well, yeah, I remember them having arguments and stuff. I thought it was because mum was marrying Carissa's boyfriend, which is a thing that happened. If you haven't watched my previous series, the 10th husband in my Celebrity Gold Digger series was a celebrity named Nathan, who was actually Carissa's boyfriend from when she was a teenager all the way through, and Michaela broke them up to marry him. So she... Ashley had quite reasonably assumed that that was the cause of the argument. And Ross is like, yeah, it was. But at the same time, it was also, I think, that Michaela found out that I was in a relationship with both of them. Uh And I really regret that because I feel like even though Michaela never broke up with me over it, because in Ross's mind, they were a couple. Michaela was using him, but in Ross's mind, there were couples. So, you know, she never actually broke up with me, but at the same time, she didn't, you know, I feel like she didn't obviously trust me as much anymore. So, I, you know, I really regret that, you know, maybe maybe things could have worked out between me and Michaela if I, if she hadn't died, if I'd managed to, you know, stop whoever killed her and everything else, and if I hadn't broken her heart with Carissa. So, as you can see, Ross is very worked up about this situation. He's also disappointed. He's going to ask Ashley, oh, do you see Carissa much? And she's like, well, not as much as I used to. I mean, dude, you shouldn't have a sword in a jail. Yeah. So, Ross asked Ashley, look, have you seen Carissa lately? Uh, You know, I thought she might have come and visited me because, you know, he didn't – he doesn't love – Carissa the way he loved Michaela, but mm, they had some pretty hot and heavy times. He's yelling at him over the sword thing, by the way, if you're wondering. So I think it's time, obviously, for Ashley to go home. I think she's found out as much as she can here. So these two have arrived back in Evergreen Harbour. They've been talking on the drive home. Nadia thinks it's really suspicious that Carissa had a falling out. Oh, Dale's here. (laughs) It's like, who's that vampire? Nadia thinks it's really suspicious that Carissa had a falling out with Michaela over not just Ross, but also Nathan, who was her boyfriend. I actually think having Dale here is a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a group because they're all going to have a talk. Ashley's like, look, guys, we need to talk because today I went to see Ross. Dale's a bit shocked by this because he's like, well, why? Dale, I think, believes that Ross actually killed Michaela. He's bought into that lie or that line, also a lie, but that line that the police prosecuted him, he went to jail. Ross and Ashley's like, well, Ross says he didn't do it. And honestly, I kind of believe him. Like, he seemed really upset that mum's dead. Ashley's explaining, look, Ross says that Michaela, like her mum, had a falling out with Carissa over not just 
Nathan and that marriage, but also because Ross was actually having an affair with Chrissa, even though he was in a relationship with mum. And Dale's like, well, that's disgusting. You know, why would he cheat on mum? And she's like, well, to be fair, mum was cheating on Ross, so maybe Ross thought it was fine. And Dale's like, yeah, but it's still gross. He was our butler from when we were kids. Like, I think Dale was a bit older, but I think Carissa was a child or a teenager when they got Ross as a butler. And that's kind of gross. And she's like, hey, look, I didn't say it wasn't gross. Oh, we've changed spots. Jason came out and his dad was like, get back inside. This was an adult conversation. Ashley's like, well, do you think there's anything to it? Ross thinks that it was one of mum's husband's exes that came after her and killed her. And Alex's, Alex's response to that is, you mean what, like, Carissa, she's one of mum's husband's exes too. And Ashley's like, look, I don't know. Dale's saying, I don't think Carissa would do that. I really don't. And Alex is like, well, I mean, would she? I mean, maybe. I don't think, I don't think she's got the guts for it, honestly. I think... Out of all of us, I've got the most guts. If anyone was going to kill mum, it would have been me. And Dale's a bit shocked by this. Like, what do you mean? This is basically Alex talking himself up. You know, d- are you saying you did it? And it's like, no, I didn't even know that room existed. But Carissa obviously did. She was the one that reported the fire. This discussion's going round and round. Ashley's like, well, I feel like maybe we should talk to Carissa about this. You know, ma- did the three of us go over there? Ale- Alex's response is, do you really think she'd tell us the truth if she did it? I mean, Ross is in jail for it. And Dale believes, he's like, look, I think Ross did it. I don't feel like I need to be involved in any kind of conversation with Carissa about this. I've got closure. I'm moving on with my life. You know, Caleb and I are really happy. I don't feel like I need to be involved in this. Alex, on the other hand, is really needing to pee, apparently, and Ashley's gone to bed. So that's great. Alex is thinking about what Ashley's told him. He's like, well, I mean... Maybe she did do it, and if she did, then do I care? Like, this is something he really needs to ponder. Oh, that toilet is gross. Ashley, you need to... Gross. You need to clean this. Uh, That, to me, says that maybe Lily is pregnant, because I think someone's thrown up in it. I'm tempted to click on her and cheat and see. If she is pregnant, I am going to change it to a girl. If it's a boy, it's going to become a girl because I would like them to have a daughter. Hopefully you guys don't mind me using a cheat for that. I'm not going to cheat to see if she's pregnant, but once I know for a fact that she is, maybe I'll have her take a pregnancy test actually because if she did throw up, I mean, she's been pregnant twice before. Surely she would smell a rat, right? Nadia has fallen asleep on the couch. I feel like Nadia was probably eavesdropping on that conversation. I think she probably was in here listening through the glass because I think that's what she would do. Lily obviously has been distracted by the toddler, but I'm going to have her come in here, not her, her take a pregnancy test because she's suspicious now. She's vomiting. I feel like she would suspect that she might be. And then we really need to bath this child. Dale, can you please move? Jason, get out. Everybody get out. Oh, my God, Alex. Alex is coming and be like, hey, babe, what you doing? She's peeing on a stick. Oh, God, no, she's peeing on a stick. She is eating for two. So she's going to be like, honey, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Breaking the news. And he's like, oh, okay, well, we can afford it more than we can afford Zane, I guess. So little Zane's outside like, what? I have my name. So what I'm thinking is in the morning, when does he work next? Uh, Three days. So we've got plenty of time. I think I might have them go and visit Carissa the next day. It's rebate day, which is super annoying because I just spent a ton of money on the computer. And on top of that, the bills have arrived and we actually can't afford them. Well, we can, but only just. So we've got 1,298. And the bills are 1,254. So that's nice. They slept all day, including little Jason. I actually had him stay home from school all day because he was working on his creativity to get to level four. And I had him staying working on that all night. I've also been having Alex work on his skills. So he needed to get handiness level two. So I've had him 
you know, he upgraded the shower and read a book and he needs mischief. So I am going to have to have him do some mischief interactions, but I may have him do that off screen. What I'm going to do is have him get dressed and then we are going to head over to Carissa's house. Just the two of them. I'm going to leave the rest of the family at home. Lily can stay with the kids. We're heading to Brightchester. And she's got a cute little house here. All right, you guys, I got this house for the gallery. I'm not claiming credit for it. I think I just searched for like Brightchester homes or something because I wanted something that would fit in like Brightchester townhouse. I wanted something that would fit in with the aesthetic of the neighborhood, which is beautiful. And we are seeing it at its best because it's getting on towards sunset. The changes I made were because I don't think it came with a pool and I was like, Carissa would not stand for that. So this is her house. It's super cute. I'll just give you guys a quick little tour. I did do quite a bit of modification because obviously things like the artwork and stuff so we have a photo of Michaela and Dale here she Carissa ended up with a lot of the family artwork we have photos of Alex and Ashley Thorn Bailey and Orange Bailey Moon because this is sort of for those of you that know Carissa this is a little bit uh virtue signaling like I love my mom even though she was a psycho and I love my brother and I love my sisters and I love my dad she didn't even know her dad I think he died when she her mum was pregnant with her so they never even met orange she detested but she's got a picture of orange this these are actually Michaela's trophy pictures of these two because Michaela would take trophy pictures of all of the fellas that she killed and the there were two women as well all of the partners she had a trophy picture of we have some of the artwork that Michaela had in her house I took some of it for Carissa as well because I really liked it and it seemed like a shame to just abandon it in the other house. We have a cute little kitchen here and a toilet on this floor and upstairs we've got a study, we've got a little bathroom and we have her bedroom and that's it. It's a tiny little one bedroom house. It's intended for students, which Carissa is technically a student. She's also a style influencer, but she does do study. And why are you sad? I'm going to say she's sad because she's thinking about the fact her sister might have killed her mum. So she's going to come over here and complain about her problems. Alex has got inside to take a look around. We know he's going to swipe something. I don't know what yet. Let's see if there's anything we can steal. Oh, we have the picture here of Nathan. The reason it's there but kind of hidden is Carissa actually really did care for Nathan and she felt incredibly betrayed when he married Michaela. Oh, I can steal this big pile of books. Let's swipe that. Maybe there'll be something in the pile of books that we can, like, he's looking for evidence. He's not just robbing his sister who is dazed and probably drunk. He's looking for evidence that she's up to no good. So he's st stolen that. And then we're going to come down here. He's going to be like, hey, sweet pool, can I go for a swim? <laughs> Where'd Carissa go? Oh, she's in here with her mum. <laughs> I don't know why she thought that was a good idea. So she, Carissa's gone in here and is crying and she can hear it, but she can't see it. Now, again, this room, we have the picture of Michaela and Carissa from happier times. This is when Ashley and Alex were little. That's actually their dad in the background, but they were toddlers, I think, when he died. So we've got more of the autographs and the trophy photos because I felt like especially the autographs, I kind of didn't want to get rid of them. So these are all previous victims. We have Dustin, we have Dirk Dreamer, we have D'Angelo Aldridge, who was, I think, a sim I got from the gallery. We have, uh, I don't actually think we killed these two. This was Christian and this was, I think, I want to say Brianna. And that's Christian again when he was older. Uh, we had our eye on both of them, but we never killed them. I did collect their autographs just in case. So Carissa's kept the, all of the autographs. We also have another nice picture of Nathan up here because, like I said, she's not really over him. This is a little bit awkward. I don't know if Chris is experiencing genuine remorse here or if this is for the sake of her siblings. <laughs> it's hard to know, honestly. Ashley really wanted to talk to her, but she's hiding in the garage. This is not at all awkward. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's looking at other documents. Seriously, look, he's like, oh, a diary with a pen on it. Wonder what's in that. Interesting. Yeah, this is an awkward position to stand in. 
that's fine. Oh, I forgot she's drunk. That would explain the crying. It's like, it's all right. You know? Yes, it was terribly tragic the way mum died. Ashley's line of questioning here is, ooh, we're shaking hands. And now we're revving each other up. Ashley's line of questioning is, look, I went to see Ross. And Chris is like, oh, a little bit wary about this. I went to see Ross and he said he thinks that one of mum's husband's exes, so one of the ex-in-laws, maybe was responsible for murdering her. And Chris is like, well, the police said Ross did it. Why? Oi, what are you doing? The police said Ross. Oh, she's gone straight back in there to cry. <laughs> Why would anyone other than Ross be guilty if the police said it? Alex is out here tipping over. He's going through the trash, you guys. He really suspects something. I think Alex has tried to talk to Carissa. Carissa's just like, look, I don't want to talk about it. She shut herself back in the shed and is crying again. Alex has gone through the trash and is going through all her documents. So that's great. <laughs> I think I'm going to take these guys home because Carissa is not cooperating and now Ashley's gone to bed. Now, we have 44 Smolians to our name, so obviously we won't be doing rebate day because it's a bit late for me to go and run the shop. I did have Ashley dive for deals a little bit while Alex was sleeping, so we do hopefully have some other things that are good enough to sell, but we've got a couple of things that Alex has swiped as well, so that's fine. Can he swipe again yet? Yes, he can. <laughs> I'm going to have him swipe something else since Chris is out crying. We'll swipe that. That was painted by Nathan Mooney. That's funny. Oh, she'll definitely notice that's gone because that's like something her ex-sweetie painted. I'm going to take these guys home. I think Carissa's going to notice that stuff is missing. She's not an idiot. Uh, it's possible that the notes he stole here were actually her university notes. So, you know, she's definitely going to notice something's gone missing. That could result in a bit of a falling out. She's acted really suspicious, maybe because she was drunk. She was like, I don't have my poker face on. I can't lie to these people right now. And that's why she was like, look, I'm sorry, it's too upsetting for me. And then went and hid in the shed and is still in there. So, you know, it's going really well. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this part here. It'll be interesting to see how things play out with Carissa. Obviously, she's got a pretty big secret. She also has their mum's urn, but they didn't know that she had her urn because I think neither Dale, Ashley, nor Alex felt super invested in having their mum's ashes. And I guess maybe Carissa's still trying to organise where, which cemetery to bury her in, given there's no cemeteries. So... Yeah, she, they knew that. That's not really a surprise. Ross has definitely sowed the seed of doubt in Ashley's mind in particular about what happened there. And Alex was suspicious enough that he did go through all her notes. Now, I had him steal that book, but him tipping over the garbage can and staring at that other book were not me. So I think The Sims on board with it. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And I have confirmed Lily is pregnant with a girl. So in the next part, I'll probably play like a day off screen and have them try and earn some money so that they can be ready to pay the loan on Friday. And then in the next part, we should have our next bebe. So if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.